the, the Liverpool goalkeeper, uh, Loris Karius, after the Champions League final, he had a poor game, and I was critical of his game. I was critical of him as a person, of his game. He's been receiving death threats and his family, and that's classes and the lowest of the low. Sadly, there is precedent for this happening, not just in football, but in multiple sports. When I focus on football, the case of Andres Escobar, murdered because of an own goal he scored at the World Cup in 94. Colombian international, Colombian captain, against the USA, and they needed to draw the bed through, and they lost because he stuck his leg out to try and block a cross, and it went in the goal. Six weeks later, he was gunned down in Medellin, in Colombia, his hometown. When he was on holiday, he was murdered. That was in 1994. Um, that's the example I'm using. There are others. There's multiples. Um, but David Beckham's another one. Uh, 98 World Cup gets sent off against Argentina. The fallout from that was pretty disgusting. The hate mail he received um, from all fan bases was just unacceptable. And there were death threats in that towards him and his wife at the time. Um, it's happened to a lot of players. Except for a lot of other sportsmen, other sports. But this is pretty, pretty vile. There's the heat at the moment going, this guy, you know, an effing and blinding. And I remember at school when David Becker did that. And going back in the summer, at the end of the summer, in, in the in the September, and kids years above me still talking about it and saying, and these are 13, 12, 13 year old kids saying, I hope his wife gets cancer. They listen to what the adults do, they copy, it spreads, some idiot will hear it, act upon it. Um, in the case of Andres Estebar, that was more organised crime, but he still lost his life because of a, an own goal. A lot of people would have had a lot of money on this game, organised crime would have had a lot of money on this game. It does take one idiot to commit the most heinous act. Uh, you know, Neil Lennon, the um, former Celtic player, uh, former Celtic and um, manager as well, received bullets in the post saying, we will kill you. Um, yeah, it happens. I've heard of, there was a documentary I watched before the Brazil World Cup in four years ago. A Brazilian player who based in Brazil had his, his mother was kidnapped for ransom. It happens. Players and their families have been targeted before. Cruyff did not go to the World Cup in 78, not for political reasons, which is mostly claimed. But he did give an interview where he said there was a kidnapped attempt on my family in Barcelona just before. Um, he was back to time for Barcelona, they were in a hotel and someone tried to either kidnap him or his family because they were high profile. Um, that's why he didn't go. He was citing his family as his prime concern at the time. I can't blame him. But yeah, this has happened. It highlights a growing trend, not just in football, but in a lot of sports, of the issue, the cancer that is social media at times. Now, I got this off Twitter. I do follow a lot of uh, sports Twitter feeds that are linked to either sports websites or they are similar to me, sports YouTubers, and this is circulating that the police are now investigating a number of threats against uh, Loris Karius and his family, and some of his friends as well. That is unacceptable. Lovren as well, his teammate, has received death threats as well this season, at various points. Completely unacceptable. I know Morgan Schneidling has received death threats as well, uh, since he's been at Everton. Completely unacceptable. Um, I think Mourinho has, John Terry has in the past. There is a litany of... of of um, incidents, and there seems to be more and more in recent times. The, 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 the bigger social media gets, the more these threats persist. But I do remember David Beckham, I remember Escobar. There have been others. There have been players' houses broken into, um, threats to kidnap. It happens, it's happening more and more. Uh, the wealthier these players get, the more money they have, the more these things seem to happen. Correlation there. But uh, this is completely disgusting. I want to hear from Liverpool fans what their view on this is. I'm assuming 99.9% .9 of them will be disgusted by that tiny minority of Liverpool fans. Or those other neutrals who may have had money on the game, you know, a bit pissed off. A minority of Liverpool fans are doing this. I wouldn't be surprised if Sergio Ramos has also received death threats for the Mo Salah incident and the elbow on Carriers. Wouldn't be surprised. But no, I, I'm, it is a concern that I have as a sports fan. That going into this World Cup, a player's going to have a shocker. Do a David Beckham get sent off? Do a Carriers have a, a sloppy goalkeeper performance? And have the same abuse that Carriers has had over the last 20-odd hours. It's completely unnecessary, completely unacceptable. 
And there's a reason why Liverpool got that Champions League finals because of his performances in goal. Some of the saves he pulled off and his, his strong, good play. OK, I th- he's a good goalkeeper. He still needs to develop a little bit more to take that next step to be a great goalkeeper. And I think in that press situation, just had a bad game. He didn't deliberately decide to go, yeah, I'm going to roll the, you know. He was trying to play the way Klopp wanted to play from the first goal, be quick with the possession out, counter-attack, and it went wrong. Benzema, you know, had him there, out for him. Fair enough. Benzema was very smart in his play. I've seen that happen before with a goalkeeper's not expecting the player to be there, and it has happened. The third goal, I've seen goalkeepers mishandle shots before. Technically, he got it a bit wrong, and that's down onto the coaching staff and the player, but hey, he's human. I think most fans are disgusted with the threats against him and his family. This is all broken in the last hour. We'll see how seriously the press, uh, the mainstream press, because I know some independent websites with independent journalists are picking this up. Merseyside Police have mentioned they are investigating this, so there has been a press release. Whether the Sky, Sky News and BBC really pick it up and follow with it, we will wait and see. But some of the independent websites and and smaller you know, sports blogs are picking this up. So there is some credibility to this story. And I'm going to leave that there. Thank you very much for watching. Please place your thoughts below. I'm very interested to hear from Liverpool fans or just football fans in general. Um, and I'll have some more videos with you soon. Please like and subscribe. I shall see you later. Ta-ta.